three minute makeup tutorial let's go this is my skin no filter no smoothing nothing this is just how my skin looks when i woke up this morning after a wash first step is tinted moisturizer i love this because when i wash my face my tan comes off so i can just top it back up next step elf poreless putty primer i'm not blowing smoke up anybody's ass but this is the best primer i've ever used in my life it's so good make sure you put a lot on especially in the area where your mask's gonna sit because i promise you it doesn't budge this is my favorite favorite combination of products that i personally use on a daily basis by the way so i'm just telling you what i use and this is my skin after just the primer how good is that already it just erases all my pores next i move on to my brows my brows are already tinted but i just like to stick them back down with a little bit of brow soap this is from fluffy looks brows it's in the smell snow fairy it's absolutely divine i love it so much just give it a little brush through then i always pat them down just to set them in place and i promise you when i say this doesn't budge it doesn't budge i just fill in the front as well with a brow pencil from the same small business now i'm carving out my brows with an angle brush with the nyx born to glow concealer this is in the shade this is in the shade light ivory it's really good i got it from boots blend it all out next i'm going to use the morphe x manny mua glam palette i'm using the shade dust cloud just to set that concealer it's a really nice base color ready for my eyeshadow so i take a fluffy brush and i use the shade sophie and boy next door mixed together just to run through my crease just to give it a little bit of definition but nothing too harsh i think it just gives it a natural kind of vibe which is what i was going for today then i use another fluffy brush just to blend that out with the same color that we used as the transition shade okay i know that this foundation went viral ages ago but i still love it it's the kvd bad apple foundation look at that oh my god the coverage is absolutely unreal i got it in the shade medium 30 by the way then i used some more of that concealer from earlier just under my eyes and in all the highlight zones next step is to contour my nose so i use the makeup revolution i think it's a foundation stick but i use it for contour it's in the darkest shade f14 and i just use that with a little fluffy brush to carve out my nose this is just personally how i like to contour my nose i like it to look Look really cute and buttony so that's why i do that little line over the top to make it look all round and cute now i use my battered absolutely battered nyx palette and use one shade in here which is the contour one next i'm going to use the morphe translucent powder i always use a foundation brush for this step just because i think it's really convenient for me i just like it okay so next i use the hula bronzer from benefit since i found out that benefit are not cruelty free i don't buy their products anymore but because i already have them in my makeup collection i am going to use them up just because it'd be wasteful to throw them away so i go over my bronzing areas and just define my nose a little bit more then i use this little ted baker palette to do some more bronzer and some blush then i use the manny mua palette for highlight kat von d lipstick in the shade ludwig and we are done